Okay, I do not think we're gonna last that long that we're gonna need those books, so I'm just gonna leave them. Oh my god! No, no, no! It is bright and early in the world of Project Zomboid. We are in our new house, which is probably gonna be our house for a while, honestly. It's very far away from all the zombies, and we're definitely gonna fortify it, like I said in the last episode, but before that, we're gonna need to find some food. I mean, I'm eating some of the last food reserves we have. I mean, we have a can of tuna, two soups, some chips, and, and that's really it. So basically, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna stockpile everything we don't need, I'm gonna grab our car, we're gonna drive back, and I'm also gonna find some food. Like I said, we're running low, so... We've got a few things we need to do here. Apparently I missed this when we first found the house because, yeah, I do not remember this crash here, but I'm not going to complain. I'm going to take whatever supplies I can get, if any. I mean, it seems to be locked, yeah. But we may get some gasoline. Yeah, okay, th this is really working out for us already. It's been a little while, so I'm hoping I can remember the way. Oh, wait. Okay, <laughs> it's a lot closer than I thought. Never mind. We have found the car already, but there are a decent amount of zombies around. I'm going to take this a bit smarter. We're going to be a lot more stealthy. I got some useful tips. And, oh wow. That was actually so badass. I didn't even know you could do that. That was a sneak attack right there. And, <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm impressed, honestly. And wow, we killed a lot of zombies the last episode. Holy shit. Those are a lot of dead bodies. You know what, before we take our car over, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone, and we're just going to grab as much food as we can. This house we have not searched yet, because there were a lot of zombies in it the last time I checked. Alright, I'm a little nervous approaching the house. The door is open, so we're going to figure out exactly how many zombies are inside. Okay, they're all gone now. I don't know where they are. I'm not going to ask questions. Oh, you know what, also... Let's take these planks because I do want to fortify the house and that is definitely going to help. There's a TV dinner, but I'm pretty sure we don't have any way to cook that in our house. That's one of the flaws, I guess. But, ooh, okay. I'm going to turn this TV off just in case that attracts any attention. And I don't know, man. Going upstairs is a little worrying because in the last episode, one of the zombies was on the stairs. So it could have easily climbed them. And we have to be very cautious because this is th these are the times you get bit all right there could be a zombie in this closet okay we're good see what's in it nails that's exactly what i want and a pipe wrench that is a good weapon and a bunch of nothing but we do have clothes let's see wait was that it okay we found another shotgun i'm gonna take the shells but we already have one so we are definitely good on shotguns we're good on double barrel shotguns okay some more planks here or just one, but this will definitely help. Oh, wait. We're already pretty low in space. You know what I can do? I'm going to bring this to the car because I'm pretty sure it has a decent amount of storage space. And we're just going to drop all of our planks in it. So that's definitely something good we can use the car for. There is toilet paper. We do have that. And that's a good thing because in the last few weeks, I have noticed that toilet paper is apparently a very important thing to have in these sort of high stakes scenarios. Okay, so I doubt there's any zombies in this house, but I'm still gonna be cautious, okay? I'm not trying to die. I did make a promise, if you can recall. The next character I make will go far. We died three episodes in, which is not, I mean, that's obviously not good. Okay, you, you, you kinda wanna last a bit longer than that, so. Here's hoping we make it far and don't die in this episode. I have a feeling we have a very low chance of finding food in a church, but I'm pretty desperate right now, so we're going to try. Guessing, yeah, it is locked. I don't know, man. Let's try. We do have a baseball bat, which is a pretty good weapon, and uh, I'm going to puss out, so never mind. Okay, let's sneak in the back of this church, or not. Damn it. There are some windows back here, and nothing. That does make sense. Let's check. Maybe, okay, there is a storage room. We have a hammer. Some expert level books, apparently. I mean, I did make a promise that our character is going to go far, but I don't know if he's going to go that far, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to be a little honest here and say I do not think we're going to last that long, that we're going to need those books, so... I'm just going to leave... Oh my god! No, 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 no! Holy shit! Oh, I'm so stupid. 
I'm so fucking stupid. Oh my god, I, I can't do anything, man. Why did I... Why did I go out that door, man? Why did I do that? Honestly, I'm trying to come up with some sort of valid excuse for why I did that, but... It, it comes down to one thing. I'm a dumbass. You know what? Screw this game, okay? It thinks it's gonna kick me around and I'm just gonna leave, quit, never play again. Screw that, man. Alright, so for this next character, I'm gonna focus on as many stealth traits as I can. Yeah, so there's a burglar trait. We can hotwire vehicles, which obviously makes getting any vehicle so much easier. So I'm definitely going to pick this. And also less chance of breaking the lock on a window. So no question I'm going for the burglar trait. But we also, in doing that, have to take some negative traits. So I'm obviously going to go for Sunday Driver because that's not too bad. We're also going to go with Sleepyhead because I want to also pick one of these traits. So I'm going to double up on the negative traits. Obviously, we're going to go with inconspicuous, graceful, just to be a bit more stealthy, and we only have two points left, so we're going to be able to transfer inventory items quicker. So that's it. That's our character build, and I'll see you in the world. I'd be lying if I didn't say I was a little sad right now, because we had so many plans, so many ambitions to fulfill, and it's, it's all over now. Our character's dead because of one stupid, dumbass mistake. And we also started out in some very dense fog, so it's it's not really a good episode. Let's be real here. It's a, all in all a very bad episode. A lot of bad things happen. I'm going to turn this off. And yeah, it doesn't help. I'm playing on the West Point map again, so I still don't know where anything is. I kind of have a better idea after that last character, but I don't know. Oh, wait, I know where we are. We have actually spent a few nights in this house, if I'm not mistaken. We've at least been here, though, on our last character. So I actually know exactly where we are. Maybe not exactly. That, that's a bit strong of a word to use, but I kind of know where we are. So that's good. Definitely our first goal is to search some of these houses. I don't know about that one because I think I see a zombie inside the window. No, I don't know what that blue thing is. It might be a chair, but there's a zombie right there. So let's not go that way. I'm going to see if this house over here is... Oh, no. Okay, so, shit. Um, good thing is, we are burglars, so we're making less noise, and they also can't see us as easily. I really hope we do not have two deaths in one episode, because... Oh, God. I, I mean, needless to say, that would not be good, okay? I would not feel comfortable in uploading that to my channel, but I'd have to, you know? So... Let's just have that not happen, okay? Here we are. We get a nice little break here. I'm also going to rest up. Okay, we do have a metal bar. I have actually never used this, so... I don't know how good it is. Okay, I can take this fork out. It's really killing the vibe. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, we can focus on the fork later. I'm going to take this uh, duct tape. I'll remember the fishing rod. And... Oh, wait, two fishing rods. Okay. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Okay. That was close. Let's try and enter this house. Oh, wait, it has a broken window. We're not going to enter that. I'm going to lose these zombies, and we're going to find a house to enter. We do have a saw and a plank, which will help in uh, building fortifications, but, I mean, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm more focused on the now rather than later, so we did lose the zombies. I need to start getting into better stealth habits, okay? We got to use the stealth mechanic a bit more. And that'll definitely help in avoiding zombies. Are the, okay, so I'm moving those. Oh, no, that's not me moving the trees. That was a zombie sneaking up on us. Apparently, the zombies also have some sneaking mechanics of their own. Okay, you know what? I actually have a better idea. We're going to leave this neighborhood because I don't think it's a good place to start out looting. Unless maybe. Maybe we can go here. Yes, we can. I do have the dexterous trait, so we're going to be able to carry these over pretty quickly. Which is awesome, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to search the top floor because the zombies are probably going to break in by then. Okay. Yep, we're out. Okay, we have a burnt out house right now. This will be a good place to lose any zombies that may be attracted to me right now. See if we can climb out here. Okay. I think we're good for now. I'm tempted to search one of these houses, but I, I don't know, man. I hate this neighborhood. 
I can't say it enough. Okay. It seems we have a smaller neighborhood, but okay, there's a, still a lot of zombies. And I'm already learning, okay? If I was a dumbass, I'd walk through that door like I did earlier, but I'm gonna actually be smart about this. We're gonna leave through the window. The back window, in fact, so... We're, I, I'm learning, okay? I'm telling you, I've not failed at opening any window yet. And uh, granted, I did just open two windows. Oh my god, we found a baseball bat. Okay, so not too bad. Not too bad of a start. I do like the baseball bat, so... We may have some sort of hope. Right at the start, it's going to be a little frantic, as you can tell. I'm panic looting most of these houses, and then once we get a decent amount of supplies, we're going to try and settle down in a quiet house, in a quiet area, with barely any zombies. That's, that's the main goal right now. It's definitely paying off, taking more of a stealth approach. I mean, at the beginning of this character, I was kind of messing up again like I normally do, but I'm being a bit smarter in my approach. I should also be looking through the windows before I actually try to enter them, but it's too late now for this house. Seems it's empty though. I don't hear any zombies. I'm gonna take these bandages too. But I'm also gonna be ready. Baseball bat is primed for any zombies that may jump out at me in this house. Seems fine though. Should I drink this milk? Yeah, let's do it. I'm pretty thirsty, so I'm just gonna down this entire gallon of milk. So, our bones will be strong, which uh, will probably help in case we run into a bunch of zombies like we did earlier. Okay, I just did it again. I just walked out of that house without looking through the window or finding a different exit. So, we're already making the same mistakes. Not good, but this house is unlocked. Do have a zombie, though. Let's take care of her. Like I said, we do have the baseball bat, so this will probably be a lot easier. Nice. Okay, not good. I didn't go through the door that time, so that probably saved our life just then. But the window almost got us killed anyways, so we probably should have taken a back route or looked through the window a bit longer, I guess. For the rest of the day, I'm just going to social distance myself from all these zombies, I guess you could say, which I'm fine with. We're going to watch some TV and not leave the house. We only have three zombies killed, but... I mean, there's going to be many, many more, okay? So stay tuned for the next episode where we're hopefully kicking this game's ass. See you then.